Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how to do a word problem using direct and inverse variation. Sometimes we also call it something being proportional to something else. The problem here reads, when eight people are available, it takes 10 hours to paint a house. If the time, t, is inversely proportional to the number of people n, how long does it take to paint the house with 20 people? All right, let's see if we can figure this out. So first, what we want to do is write down the proportionality. So the time that it takes to paint is proportional to 1 over the number of people. So that's what we mean by it's inversely proportional or it varies inversely to the number n, the number of people n. All right, now we want to turn that into an equation. To do that, we write t equals, and of course we then have to introduce a constant of proportionality, k times 1 over n. And now we have to figure out what this value k is. We can do that by plugging in the information. When 8 people are available, it takes 10 hours. So we plug in 8 for n, 10 for t. So we have 10 is equal to k times 1 over 8, multiplying both sides of the equation by 8. So we get 80 is equal to k. And we plug that back into our equation. So we can write that t is equal to 8, or no, or 80 times 1 over n. There's our equation. That allows us to find the time that it takes to paint the house with any number of people. So now we plug in the number to answer the question. So t when n is equal to 20 is equal to 80 times 1 over 20. And so t when n is equal to 20 is equal to 80 divided by 20, which is 4. So t when n equals 20 equals 4 hours. There you go. That's how you do a problem like that. Again, to summarize, you find your proportionality. You turn into an equation using a constant of proportionality. You plug in the values that were given to figure out what k is equal to. You plug that back into your equation to come up with the equation including the value for k. And then you plug in the new value to find out what the new time is in this case for painting the house. Okay, so hopefully this will give you a good idea of how to attack these kinds of problems. So give it a try. If you have some trouble, go back to the videos and see how it's done. Good luck.